Hana has regained composure and consciousness, and she uh, is 30% almost sure she's going to make her shift. Elijah Dean, he comes up man dime because he is a tan in his estimation. I'm not so sure about that uh, gaudy pink jacket, but be that as it may, Calvin Couture's brought in some backup to watch his back. We've seen Calvin before with Katie Arquette. Quite nimble, isn't it? We've seen him with Coach Valentino, but Calvin, I guess, needed some reinforcements because this is his toughest test of his career. Unequivocally, as he goes one on one with Andrew Palace, is Calvin ready for this opportunity? Well, if you ask the man dying is, yes, Calvin isn't. You know what, if you ask me, I think he is too. But it's gonna be interesting to see. He is going in there against the man, former premier champion. We've seen what lengths Andrew Palace will go to. It's gonna be an interesting match. Palace, the frenetic energy of the Spasmanian Devil, and for a number of months he had the back of Nick Lundo in those wars with J-Rock and Dave Kitch, but I think right now, BC Steel, it's time for Palace to get back to what brought him to the dance, it's time for him to get back in title contention, what do you say? Well, if you're Andrew Palace, certainly you're saying that, but why don't we talk about the bow tie, the fashionista, the tights, the top, the bottom, and everything in between. The Calvin Couture, the man that I won't, I won't remind you. Palace will you. talk about. He's going to interrupt. Quit waving. Why are you not like Andrew Palace? You got an hour? Two tights, I might add. That was the worst rendition of that song I've ever heard. It was, it was from the heart. <laughs> Calvin moving his pants in Second. I recognize that music. Well, so do I, but it's been quite a while. I don't know what that dance was. He's back! Sonny Vice has returned to Premier Championship Wrestling after, what has it been, about a six month absence? Well, I got a question. How is this fair at all? Uh, 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 Elijah Dean has right to be out here. Sonny Vice has none, zero, zilch, nada. He has just as much right as a man dime. Neither one of them are managers. Calvin obviously had a plan, but he, uh, he showed his cards a bit too soon and Palace brought out Sonny Vice and Ovation for the former premier champion. Oh, whoopity ding dong do. Oh, upset Calvin is his bow tie's gonna come right off. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry to see so much sass come out of it. Sonny Vice is here watching the back of the house. Remember those wars last year, BC Steel? It was Palace and Sonny Vice. Uh, oftentimes in tag com competition against. Ron Mathis, LaRusso's court, they competed for the Premier Championship together. I think a mutual respect was built there between Palace and Vice. Oh, yeah, well, professional wrestling is really the place for mutual respect. 
What's wrong with respecting somebody? What's wrong with watching somebody's back to make sure Palace doesn't get jumped out here? I have no, I have no problem with somebody having your best interest in heart. That's why we have Elijah Dean and, and Calvin Couture. Why does Calvin need Elijah Dean? He's got an entourage. When you're, especially when important like that, you get to have an entourage. His entourage is one guy. Yeah, that's still an entourage. Have you seen the size of Elijah Dean? It's a 10 out of 10. Thank you for clarifying. It's the most you can be. By the way, Calvin gave me these socks. Casual. They're a bit gaudy, but... Calvin is very impressed with that arm drag. Which is five points, actually, on the BC Steel scale. So Out of how many? Out of more than five, but it's a rolling scale. But right now, Calvin Couture ahead. He actually also gets uh, three points for his manicured nails, six points for his coiffed hair, and four points for every minute the bow tie stays on. So basically, all it takes to buy you off is a cheap pair of socks. I wouldn't say cheap. These are Walmart brand. Right Calvin looking for that arm drag again. And Palace again, former premier champion. He's been in some of the most memorable wars in the history of this company. Calvin getting in Palace's face. You're gonna throw me a Well, well, I mean that was the plan for Calvin. Obviously, Palace shifted the weight, wouldn't allow that to happen. Palace wants to see this as much as I do, I think. A lot of leverage, you need to get your opponent off balance to get this arm drag underneath your opponent, and Palace just face plants Calvin. But certainly, BC, biggest singles match of Calvin's career, yes? Absolutely. You know, he's going oh, he's got the face! Well, that should be illegal. That should be That's illegal. how you do it. That's minus 10 points for Andrew Palace, but I, Palace couldn't care less about how many points you get. Well, fine. You know what? He's not getting any points then. How you like that? He's getting Calvin's nose! Well, back to the the, the the question he asked me earlier. Sonny Vice loves it. Oh, who likes Sonny Vice? A lot of people. Not me. Now, now, can I answer your question? Or, or you got all this Tom Fuller going on? Oh, he, uh, Shades of Mo Howard by Andrew Palace. I, I would think Palace is more the Shemp of the Stooges. I'm just saying that because the Want to make your point? Yes, it is a big matchup for Calvin Couture because this can, well, this can catapult him into title contention of some sort. I agree. Or it could solidify Palace back in that position. Oh! I don't think Calvin's been playing to his strengths, though. Well, if he bruises up that chest, it's really going to hurt when he puts on his Louis Vuitton sweater. How will he be able to show his face on the runway after the tilt the world backbreaker? There's Mandon getting involved, and Sonny Vice is not going to let anything go uh, askew for Andrew Powell. Well, now, why did Sonny Vice need to lay hands? Answer me that. To get Mandon. What? Now, Mandon's in the ring. Come on! Well, well Mandon was just trying to get through the ring so he could go to the other side, and, and Powell just happened to be in the way. I think that's what happened. That is idiotic. Now, Calvin, Calvin's got the pin and the official. Well, now. Well, no, I think I think uh, that should be a disqualification. No, I think that's that's karma because the the pin shouldn't have been counted anyway because it was done as a result of what Man Diamond did. Well, that's what we call an assist. It's a Canadian hockey reference. It's there's not American no, hockey. There's no first of all, there's no difference between Canadian hockey and American hockey. Second of all, there's no such thing as an assist in a one-on-one -on -one match. Well, actually, one's in Canada and one is in America. That's why you put the designation. Another reference. To shout out to RC. Calvin with the overhead neck breaker. Calvin on top for two. Andrew Palace has been one of the toughest men to beat in Premier's history. I looked through the, the archives of the history books. I don't know if there have been more than, than, than two or three men that have beaten Palace uh, 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 via pinfall or submission directly in the entire history of this organization. Does Calvin have what it takes? What would you tell Calvin to do? Well, I'd have to tell Calvin that he's going to have to study tape. He's going to have to find the guys that were able to defeat Palace and see what did it. And I can tell you one of the things is having Palace lose his cool, having him lose his emotions, get off his game, maybe get a little frazzled. Andrew Palace is a guy you, you could liken to Bret Hart in the way that 
that he's, oh, jeez, that he's a guy, and Bret Hart didn't throw a back fist, but he's a guy that when you think you've got him, he's, good drop kick. he's playing possum, and all of a sudden you're on the defense before you even realize what happened, and that's what Powell uses to his strength. He gets the people behind him, he gets that. Hey! Well, that's effective, too, having Mandime out there. Mandime, the diversion, it was just enough to Calvin eat. Calvin's going to steal this, look out! Call Palace, planted face first! Joe, it's over. Get the streamers. Oh, what an upset! No. And I talked about a parade earlier. We're gonna have a Calvin Couture parade. It, we're gonna, there's gonna be fashion, and we're gonna fly people in from Milan, and France, and Canada, Saskatchewan. He gets his own parade now? Absolutely. The Calvin Couture parade of fashion, excellence, and winning. I might have tried to decipher that acronym. Calvin, the knee to the back of the head, Choking Palace and Man Dime right there again. And Sonny Vice, Man Dime's been a step ahead of Sonny Vice this whole way. Imagine how worse this would be for Palace if Sonny Vice wasn't watching his back. Well, if if Sonny Vice could uh, mind his own business, oh. it would be a lot more fair for Calvin Couture. That's for sure. Palace got the knees up. I don't see how you see that at all. But Palace has an opportunity. A oh, huge close line. Palace is feeling it now. See, and that's what I said earlier. Once Andrew Palace starts to feel it, once he gets those people, it's really, really hard to slow him down. We've seen a lot of guys try, but not a lot have been able to. Contact made in the corner. Yo, this may shock you, but I'm a Calvin Couture fan. It's no! I know. It's not just and it's it's not just because he dresses me from head to toe in fine garb. German suplex. I feel sorry for Calvin if he has to see you when you're dressing, but there's a nice impact on the German really suplex at Man Dime's got Palace. And Palace pushes away! Now, now where did that come from? It's called defending yourself. Well, a man tries to tie another man's boots. Oh, get out of here. Got a, oh, wait, wait, Hernia Driver coming up! Palace's gonna put Calvin away! You gotta give Calvin credit, he knew it was coming. Oh, contact made with the official. Well, I mean, that's effective too. Oh, and a second time, Calvin looking to apply the pressure on Palace and the official. Unfortunately, just in the wrong place at the wrong time. Joe, I got a ref shirt. I, I would be more than happy to be an impartial official. Well, Calvin went for that play of the day. And Palace the back suplex. Yeah! Oh, I think. Palace is ready to end this thing, but he needs the official. Well, we've had some uh, issues with our officials here tonight. Wait a minute, Man Dime's got a chair. Man Dime's got a chair, come on. Wait, Sonny Vice has a chair. Oh, no way. Can't a man mind his own business? No, it, it's, it's a standoff. What are you going to do now, pal? Hey! Vice just level Palace. These people are shocked. Calvin and Elijah are shocked. I always liked Sonny Vice. I knew he had it in him. That's exactly what Palace gets. I told you earlier, no friends for Andrew Palace. Now, wait, now look, look at Calvin and, and Dean scurrying to get the official. Sonny Vice has betrayed a friend. Wait, one. There's two. Joe. Oh, yes. You got to be kidding me. Joe, Joe, you know what just happened? I don't believe what just I I know it, that man, Sonny Vice, just double crossed Palace, but why? Oh, what, what, you want to talk about all, all the friendship and the mutual respect? What did I tell you? Mutual respect gets you nothing. Look at the cold look on the face of Sonny Vice. This well, is premeditated. Well, maybe we're going to see. You've said before that we've seen something different from Sonny Vice, and we just saw it right there. Maybe he is evolving as a person. And let's not overshadow the fact that Calvin Couture pinned Andrew Palace. Let me say that one more time. Calvin Couture pinned former premier champion Andrew Palace. I'm in shock. I'm in shock about everything we've just seen. And that heartless stare from Sonny Vice leads me to believe that this has been something brewing inside of him for quite a long time. But there you see, that might be the biggest upset in premier history. Calvin Couture pins Andrew Palace but Sonny Vice is holding the smoking gun.